Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. Today I have 10 do-it-yourself activities that you can make using everyday materials that you probably already own or that are very inexpensive and you can find at your local Dollar Tree. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I am a childcare provider for up to five children every day between the ages of one and four. And on my channel, you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. In September, I start with three brand new children, as well as two little ones who will be returning but haven't been with me in over five months. And, and since the parents won't be allowed into the program at all, I wanted to have something that would be comforting to the children if they are missing mom and dad. So ahead of time, I asked all the parents to supply some pictures of their family and I made a peekaboo board. And so it looks like this. And so I made it with a big, thick poster board. It's very sturdy. This poster board was from the Dollarama and it was $1.50. And then I just used stickers from the Dollar Tree and then I used the felt squares that you can get also at the Dollar Tree. And so what I did was I just glued the very top so the children can just flip them up and look for their families. So I thought this would be a fun, comforting activity for the little ones. The next activity I made using scrapbooking paper. I found some scrapbooking paper representing land, air, and water. And then I just cut them down and laminated them, labeled it water, air, and land. And then the children will choose where the animal belongs, whether it's land, air, or water. So the children can have fun choosing where the animal belongs. Land, air, or water. So it's super simple. Most of you probably already have different animals and, and scrapbooking paper is super cheap. And once you laminate it, you can use this forever. This activity will be super easy to just quickly wipe down. So in between children, so that'll be a super easy table activity to do. The next activity uses the same materials, a little bit different concept. So for this activity, you're gonna look for different scrapbooking paper that has different animal prints on it. And then the object is for the child to find the matching animal to the matching card. So the child would put the giraffe on this one, the zebra on this one, the sheep, on this one. For the dog, I used footprints. Cow. And for the pig, I used mud. I purposely chose this pig because it has some mud on it. And so I thought this was kind of cute. For the chicken, I found this one that has little eggs. This one on the other side, it actually has chickens, but I'm hoping that they connect that chickens lay eggs. So this activity is just about making different connections. The honeybee with the honeycomb. Wolf. Super simple activity and very inexpensive to make. This next activity is also really simple. You can use recycling and some ribbon or I just picked up these little containers at the dollar store. And the purpose of this activity is just for babies and toddlers to pull the ribbons like this. And this, this helps the children with their fine motor skills and they're using their pincer grass to pull on it and they don't need very much directions to play with this activity. They're just naturally curious to pull the ribbons and super colorful activity. It takes five minutes to make 
and you probably have different ribbons laying around your house and like I said you can even use recycling to make your containers. To extend this activity for older children try to use ribbons that have descriptive words attached to it so you could say could you pull the red and white polka dot ribbon? <coughs> What about the orange and white striped ribbon? Or the green sparkly ribbon? I don't know if you can tell, but this one's super sparkly and it's super fun. So this is a super, super easy, super inexpensive, and it's a great activity for building fine motor. It gets them using their pincer grasp, and it's also a great opportunity to build their vocabulary. The next activity is just using paint strips with I just cut up paint strips with four sections and then I cut a tiny piece of the color and put it on a clothespin and then I laminated it and the children will just match up the shades to the right one. Just a tip for when you're making these, I made a mistake when I made mine. I put the color on this end and it's a lot trickier for the children to match up the right color if it's glued on the wrong end. So make sure when you glue yours that you're gluing it on the, pin the pinching side. This is a great activity for the children to observe the different colors, the different shades of colors, and it helps with their pincer grasp as well. There's so many different benefits to music with young children. Cognitively, children learn new vocabulary words through music, it improves their listening skills, their communication skills. Physically, they're practicing fine and gross motor skills, and they build their muscles when they're dancing to music. Music even changes a child's mood from super angry or frustrated to happy and excited. So this next activity I made were ribbon rings, and this is for the children to use while we're playing music in the classroom, and the children can wave the ribbon rings around while we're listening to the music. So these were super simple to make. I made a class set and enough for myself as well. And these were super inexpensive to make. You can purchase these, but they are so easy to make yourself. I just picked up these little rings at the dollar store. It came six to a pack. And then I picked up a bunch of ribbon at my local craft store. You can buy ribbon at the dollar store as well, but I find I find that there's more on it if you go to the craft store. So I would suggest going to your local craft store for this if you wanna make a class set. I still have plenty left over and I made six. Again, these were super inexpensive to make and it'll be super fun to use in our classroom. Great. This was another super easy thing to make. I just laminated pairs of Monopoly money. And so this is just a simple matching activity so the children can match the number one with the number one. Five and five. 10 and 10. I picked my setup at a garage sale for super cheap. So it's a super simple matching activity. It, it also is a color matching activity. And this activity helps the children build their number recognition skills. The next activity I made was using these little wooden craft boxes that I picked up at my dollar store. They were $1.25 at the Dollarama and they just have a simple opening here. I had my husband just make a slot in here so it's sort of like, so it sort of acts like a piggy bank. And for really young children, I picked up this set of different coins at the dollar store as well. I pulled out all the biggest ones because these ones are super small and so I wanted to use the larger ones. For super young children, they will just simply pick up the little coins and put them inside. This builds hand-eye coordination and again, the children are using their pincer grasp. And this simple activity helps build future writing skills. So for older children, I went ahead and made a colored set. Can you find the red coin? Can you find the orange coin? 
So this is a great way to do assessments on children. This is a fun activity to do and you can take some notes while they're playing. So this activity costs less than $2 to make, super simple, and it can be played with in a couple of different ways. The next activity is using the same box and this time I bought these little sticks also at the dollar store and I had my husband cut the little sticks in half so they look like this and the object practiced their fine motor skills and slipped them through the holes. I do suggest being extra careful with these if you have younger children that put things in their mouths. I would suggest doing this only closely supervised, but it's a great fine motor activity as well. And again, less than $2 to make. The last activity is number and letter activities. And again, we're using these boxes for $1.25 at your Dollarama. You can do this a lot of different ways. You can print up a different set of numbers or you could use an UNO card deck. Depending on where they are developmentally, you could just call a number out and see if they could find it. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you one of the ways that we can use this activity. So the first thing the child's gonna do is choose a number from the bowl, number seven. And then I purchased the wooden set at the Dollarama as well and they're going to look for the match. So they're gonna find the number seven, and then they're going to put it inside the container. Another way you could do it is using cookies. So they could choose a cookie. So they could either look for the match on the cookie, or if you want them to practice their one-to-one -one correspondence, they can count one two three four five and if they need some help recognizing that number then they can turn it over and look for the number five and put it inside the box you can do the same exact activity using letters and again you can use you can use pre-printed cards often you can find alphabet borders at the dollar store so you could cut up a set of those and the children just simply pull a letter and find the match and put it inside the box. If you guys have any questions for me, you can find me over on my Instagram account called Playing With A Purpose. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.